hello happy friday hope you've enjoyed the blog this week um today because the ladybird went to visit the zoo i'm going to read a story called dear zoo and i'm sure you've all heard it before but the difference is i'm going to use a pop-up book and i've got some of the animals that were sent to the zoo from the zoo so this is called dear zoo and it's by rod campbell I wrote to the zoo to send me a pet. They sent me an elephant. He was too big. I sent him back. So they sent me a, you can remember what it is, a giraffe, but he was too tall. I sent him back. So they sent me a lion. He was too fierce. I sent him back. So they sent me a camel. He was too grumpy. I sent him back. So they sent me a snake, but he was too scary. I sent him back. So they sent me a monkey, but he was too naughty. I sent him back. So they sent me a frog, but he was too jumpy. I sent him back. So they thought very hard and sent me a Puppy! He was perfect. I kept him. What a lovely story. I wonder if you can just have a look at the back cover and see which animal is missing from the story. One that you might not be able to see. I'm not going to tell you. Let's have a little look and see if you know. Right, today I would like you to think about writing a letter to the zoo and asking them for another animal. Not one that's in the story. Think up one of your own up. I thought of writing to the zoo. So I've written, Dear Zoo, please send me an alligator. Love, Mrs. Baker. And they did. They sent me an alligator, but he was too snappy. So I sent, him back. So that's your challenge today to write a letter to the zoo to ask them for an animal. So good luck. Try and sound out the words on your own because you, you are fantastic and you've got all that phonic learning that will help you. So do your best because it is good enough. Bye.